Hello, welcome back to Plan of Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the creations of um, this simple splash. Basically, this is Blender 2.8 and I'm using EV rendering and as you can see, this is um, actually real time. It's quite nice. Um, the reflection is not, uh, maybe not really working properly on my Mac, but let me try really quickly get rid of the metal lake. So anyhow, this this guy is supposed to be water and it should refract the background. It does refract the background, but we cannot see the monkey head. But anyhow, let's uh, look at this uh, liquid. And if we go to the camera view, we can see the liquid. And then if I render this out, it's gonna be rendering almost in real time. This is actually um, Blender 2.8 EV and it's kind of rendering really, really fast. And in just under 100 seconds, we're gonna get a result and let's have a look. So I have this uh, this app called DJ, D, DGV View and if we look at the result, that's our animations. Okay, that's just a basic um, fluid drop using Blender Fluid, and I'm rendering it using Blender 2.8. So 2.8 is still currently being developed, so it, it will crash a lot if you if you do like uh, even sometimes with this guy right here. This is an alembic um, cache. If I try to just do something here, it's it's gonna crash, right? But anyhow, we can we can still create um, some interesting result. So yeah, let me take you through the creation of this simple fluid drop and then render it out using Blender EV. Okay, this is Blender 2.79 and this, uh, I've been using this for a while now and this is a very, very stable Blender. 2.8 still being developed and yeah so I'm gonna do the fluid simulations using 2.79 and let's save this as simple splash 002 whenever you are doing like blender fluid it's a good idea to save it inside a folder just in case so you don't accidentally delete the, the cache previous cache so fluid Special one, save it, create a cube. By default, the cube is two meters. You can make it smaller. Oh, yeah, I think it's smaller, or it doesn't matter. Just leave it like two meters. And this guy is gonna be our fluid domain. So create fluid objects, assign domain. And we're gonna create. I'm going to duplicate this domain and we'll scale it just a little bit and then move it to the bottom. And this is gonna be um, our fluid, you know, like uh, just water at the base of the domain. And I will be using a sphere or icosphere. And this guy is gonna be our fluid. So I'm gonna drop this fluid. Um, I will assign this as fluid object as well, and then select our domain. We can probably name it domain and bake. It. So it it will take just a few seconds for this simple simulations. Um, this is we can hide and this guy we can hide also So we are now we have just the fluid um, A simple fluid drop like this should shouldn't take too long time and the result will always looks pretty good um, This is by the way the low rest so we can use we can look at the final So this is pretty good. This is like 65 resolution at 65 you can always increase it to 200 it won't take long 
so let it simulate a little bit I think for this demo I will just leave it at 60 frame maybe okay I think that's pretty good let's just stop it there smooth it so this is our fluid now we're gonna bake it file export Alembic selected object only bake it for 60 frame and save it on the same under the same folder it shouldn't take too long just a few seconds and it's done now we can check it uh, with the new blend files I will import this uh, fluid cache and leave everything as it is so this is our fluid 60 frame we can scrub it it's really fast once it's become alembic and now this is the this is the key okay i'm gonna save it as fluid alembic 001 this is something that we're gonna open using render 2.8 so with this alembic we can turn on off right frame and here with the frame i'm gonna be using simple python just assign a frame number and divide it by 24 for a second now this guy is being controlled by um, this value i think i'm Okay, I'm doing it wrong it should, it should be just a frame okay um, just in case you haven't turned on the Python there is this thing called auto run Python script this this guy should be on and you save user settings okay now this blend is ready and we can render this out using blender EV I'm gonna leave this blender open and I'm gonna switch to Blender 2.8 so this is the one that I have this versions and then I will call it this is using Mac so this is how I call it with this option enable copy on write we need that because we are using um, Alembic modifier so this should be run like this and then now EV is open I can just open the blend files once I open it I can save it as new version and normally I just tag it like that EV okay now this guy is ready to be rendered using EV render okay EV and we can we should assign it some kind of material so I'm using principles and then we just gonna give it an environment texture so I have HDR library here let's find the one that's interesting look at that one let's take a look at this so this is now running in real time select the objects maybe give it like metallic look that looks pretty cool reduce the roughness so I like the metallic look if you want with a um, with a base color you can give it like magic texture it's always kind of interesting this texture is very very interesting once you give it a small scale and then distort it a little bit All right that looks pretty cool now we just want to render this uh, fluid let's create a um, camera and then go to view align active camera to view and maybe just move our camera a little bit I'm doing it this way because 
because there's a still like a bug with this blender it's still under development so okay now the camera is looking at our fluid everything is good we can just render this out it will actually just work the way we set it up it's not gonna crash it will actually render because um, this simple Python code is controlling the override frame for our alembic cache so we can just uh, render this but uh, I'll reduce the sampling to one so just like that render the animations and then you can see this is really fast it's rendering many many frames in just under a second file open temp there you go that's our fluid I guess that's the advantage of um, EV renderer of course it's very very fast especially uh, if it's actually doing the refraction thing properly it's gonna be so cool uh, let's try that remove the metallic make trans transmission to one this guy is actually kind of refracting the background you can see but if I put a monkey head we can't see the objects uh, but anyhow this is looking this is looking pretty good and if we if I go back to the camera view active camera so this guy is now looking different maybe try magic texture and then yeah something like that metallic a little bit specular roughness less roughness better for transmission and let's render this again save and render it shouldn't crash because I, I tested a few times this is actually pretty good for um, EV render even though it's still under development you can render liquid or any alembic animations this way just simply by using this modifier and override frame just you know using Python pretty simple enough and it just crashes but anyhow that's how you do it and if you follow the step it shouldn't crash um, there is another method where you are using Python and then um, it's uh, kind of like apply applying the modifier cache for each frame and render it um, at the same time but I found this one is much easier here you go that's the fluid and yeah hopefully you find this useful if you want to experiment with EV uh, this is how you might want to render um, your alembic okay so there you go hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye